own soul say. See, that's why the Bible is redundant. The Lord says things over and over because we're stiff-necked, hard-headed people. Right. Right. Calm down and listen to one another. And more importantly, listen to this fight. Right? Right. Okay, watch this. So the point, the point that he went to Leviticus 20 and 13 was to show what? Read it again. If a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. So the law says if a man lay, lay down with another man and have sex with him, they should be put to death. If I was a flaming homosexual, right? Why would I put that, leave that in the Bible if I had authorization to change it? Yes, bring it out. Right. That was a lie created by a man named Sir Anthony Weldon. That's Look right. it up. Y'all brothers don't read. This is a book right here, bro. It, it tell, shows you all our history. What does that say right there? And where? In the Scotland and British Isles where black people ruled That's right. for thousands of years in right. Europe, in right. all these places, okay? So that's a lie, bro. Just like they lie about a lot of our people. Right, they they, right. they lying about us now, um, talking about we killed some Jewish people in uh y'all know I'm talking in New Jersey. Right. It's a lie. Right. It's to deceive you, to turn you away from the Bible. Right. Read it again. If a man also lie with mankind as he lies with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. So that goes to anybody this these were law statutes and commandments given to the Israelite and Israelite I mean Israelite man and Israelite woman okay and in this book it talks about it calls him a Moor you heard of the Moors the word Moors just means black right. it's just a it's just a uh, Latin word it means black so these are but later I don't, I don't know about that I'm not sure about that, but what the brother, what the officer was trying to show you is that everything that you see here is biblical. He went over slavery. Do, do you believe that uh, slave ships was in the Bible? No, I, no, because I, I don't believe nothing that all 40 of those books tell me. Don't you don't believe none of that? Give me Isaiah 51 and 20. How can, how can you believe all of them? Like, why just can't be one? You, you tell me. No, I'm about to read. I'm about to read a scripture, and you tell me if you can believe it. Cause, cause, what does it mean to, to believe? You, you see something, and you know that it happened. It happens over and over again, so you can trust in that, right? You can believe what you can see, right? Read what you got. The Book of Isaiah, chapter fifty-one, verse twenty. Thy sons have fainted. They lie at the head of all the streets. God said, His sons have fainted. Like He read in uh, Psalms eighty-two and six. 
It says that we are gods, but we die like men. We are the sons of God on earth. Okay? He said, but God said his sons have fainted, meaning they have lost consciousness of who they are. They don't know, they don't know that we are the Israelites of the Bible. We are not black. We're not African American. That's the name of two white men. You have fainted from knowing who you are. Because if I ask you right now, what is your nationality? What you going to tell me? You don't have a nationality? Everybody comes from a nation of people. That's right. That's right. Even the Chinese know that they come from a specific nation. The Japanese. So I don't know what, you, what you're saying. Read that again. Thy sons have fainted. What's your name? T. T. You have fainted from knowing who you are. Read. They lie at the head of all the streets. And they lie at the head of all the streets. Look around. What do you see God's sons and daughters at? At the head of all the streets. Right. So you can believe that, right? Right. Re read on. They lie at the head of all the streets as a wild bull in a net. As a wild bull in a net. Because these young niggas wild. They shooting. They killing each other. They selling drugs to each other. That's like a wild bull in a net. The net represents the trap. Don't they call the, uh, the hood the trap? That's right. Yeah, keep the uh, no shoot zone. Keep the safe streets. It, uh, it was a brother out here that just yeah, got killed for, for representing that. Uh, yeah. What was it? Something Moorhead. They no, killed the brother. He, well, he was with no shoot zone. Like yeah, he, he, he organized it. The same brother that organized the no shoot zone, shoot zone got, and he was trying to stab some white white woman or whatever. That's what they say, allegedly. No, no, no video. Yeah, it's on the video. Yeah, yeah, you're right. He was like chopping around her neck, her head, as if he was going to kill her. But and then the uh, the white officer shot him dead. Overkill. Right. Read that again. Thy sons have fainted. They lie at the head of all the streets uh -huh. as a wild bull in a net. So these our men are wild out here as a wild bull in a net. They are full of the fury of the Lord. They're what? Full of the fury of the Lord. They're full of the fury of the Lord. Do you know what that means? Give me Deuteronomy twenty-eight. What does it mean that? Uh, our sons are full of the fear of the Lord. They scared of who? The Lord. I'm going to show you what the fear is. The fear is talking about these curses. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 16. Cursed shalt thou be in the city, and cursed shalt thou be in the field. So because we lost consciousness of who we are, the, we are full of the fear of the Lord, meaning the curses. It says, cursed shall we be in the city, and cursed shall we be in the field. Are we not a cursed people here in the city of Baltimore? Yeah, we yeah. oh. yeah, cursed in the city. Right, right. The book just like the book, book said. Right. So you could believe that, right? Read on. And it's, hold up, the first part, read it again. Cursed shalt thou be in the city, and cursed shalt thou be in the field. So, two curses. Cursed shall you be in the city. Any city you go to, you can go to uh, Baltimore, D.C., Florida, Tennessee, it don't, Arkansas, it don't matter. Bring it, out. it says you're going to see cursed people lying at the head of the streets doing the same shit. Bring it out. That's right. Cursed. And cursed shall they be what? And cursed shalt thou be in the field. And cursed shall you be in the field. When were our people cursed in the fields? When they were exactly. We was cursed in the fields, uh, sell, uh, work, working for sugar cane and tobacco, picking sugar cane and That's tobacco, right. Right. cotton, right? That's right? Like you see here in these pictures, like you see in all your movies, That's Roots, right. 12 Years a Slave, so on and so forth. 
Read on. Cursed shall be thy basket and thy store. So cursed shall be your basket and your store. That's going into your bank account. Because uh, what do you do with a basket? You gather things into it, right? So today, that would be like your wallet or your bank account. It says our, our, our uh, bank accounts are cursed. Our baskets are cursed. We can't keep over $2,000 in our bank account. The average black person is not, we live in paycheck to paycheck. Curse, read. Curse shall be thy basket and thy store and thy store. Because who owns all these stores that you see here in your neighborhood? Who? Right. The Ch and the Chinese own that beauty mark, right? All the other nations, but, but not you. But you don't own it. Let's see if that's a, a prophecy in the Bible and why this book is real. Uh, 43. Yes, sir. Verse 43. The, st the stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high. So it says the stranger. The strangers are the, these strange nations. All the nations outside of Israel, they are strange to us. It said they, so the, that goes the Japanese man, the Arab man. The, uh, the white man. Everybody they did. That, exactly. It said they should get up. A, read that again, verse 43. The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high. So that is within thy city shall get above thee very high. Meaning they're going to be on top of you. And thou shall come down very low. Because in order to come down very low, what, what must that mean? Um, what position was we in at one point? We was at the top. That's right. And, and that's what we read in the in the beginning. God gave us a contract. He said, if you do these, if, go, go to 28 and 1. So I can show them. Because we read verse 15. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. The word hearken means to listen. The root word in hearken is hear. So if you do not hear the word of the Lord, and to observe and to do all his commandments. Observe and do all his commandments. The only way you're going to observe. It's only if you see it. Right. And if you read this Bible, you got to open up your Bible. You got to be taught all over again. That's right. So that you can learn the law, statutes, and commandments. That's right. Read. Which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above, above all nations of the earth. See that? He said he would if we would have kept that agreement, we would have been on high above all people on the face of the planet. You understand? We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.